Hi guys, I'm Jeff Under here and welcome back. So, Set of Origin Game 2 is just around the corner tomorrow night, so um, it's going to be a big one. So obviously New South Wales came out and win two or three weeks ago, whenever it was. Um, pretty comprehensive win. Um, I'm pretty sure their team is unchanged from Game 1, New South Wales. Um, Queensland have made some changes to their side, which is pretty unsurprising given the way they were just run over. Um, in game one, so Valentine Holmes comes onto the wing, Darius Boyd moves into the centre, Justin O'Neill, Jonathan Thurston comes in, and uh, Anthony Milford drops out, Jared Wallace comes in, uh, Gavin Cooper, uh, Karen Hess on the bench, Glasby, um, and Cameron Munts is 18th man, so this very strong looking Queensland lineup, physically just massive. Obviously, obviously um, Jonathan Thurston coming back in for these guys is huge as well. Do they have enough to beat this New South Wales team that's riding high? I don't believe so. I don't think so. Obviously, Dylan, Dylan Napa is going to have to lead the way up front, I think. Um, given it's, it's only a second game, it's very inexperienced uh, front row. You think about it, Dylan Napa, Jared Wallace on debut. You know, sort of Cohen Hess is on debut as well. For bench, Joshua Parley is going to need to come in and make some impact as well. Maybe he should be starting, given the lack of experience. I think New South Wales, again, this is going to have too much for this Queensland team. Um, I don't think it'll be a massive blowout score. I think it'll be fairly close. I'm not sure what the weather's been like in Sydney, if it's been wet or not. Um, I think if it's close in the last sort of, 20 but 10 to 20 minutes if it's still very very close the fact they've got Jonathan Thurston and Cooper Cronk could make the difference but I'm not sure if New South Wales are going to let it be close up to that point I think they're just going to end up running right over the top of them again I think it's a bit of a waste having Dan Gagai out on the wing I would like to see him in the centre and put Darius Boyd on the wing maybe because they want to get the ball in Darius Boyd's hands a bit more but then Gagai was the most dangerous player in, it in game one and I don't see why they should restrict his role to win again in game two but they have you might see him sort of cut inside a few more times try and fill that centre role a bit more I have to wait and see anyway I've got New South Wales probably from about I don't know, four to eight points so it's sort of a massive score what, what are your predictions guys who do you think is going to win do you think Queensland made the right move bringing in those, those new players um I'll make a video after the game, post-match reaction, see how we go. Cheers, guys.